Hey everyone, Mama Micah here, and today I wanted to do a video of my biggest gaming disappointments from 2015. This is a short list, but it's the games that the launch went so poorly, or I just couldn't believe how bad the game was when it came out, and I just had to share it with you. And I'd love to get your opinions on what your worst disappointments were of 2015. So starting off, I have Evolve. Evolve was a game that really caught my attention at the announcement and every trailer that came out, I was really excited to play this game. Every news snippet that came out, I had to read it. This game was really interesting to me, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on the beta. But then I did try it, and it just wasn't that good. And I said, to be fair, we don't know what we're doing. None of the players have played a game like this before. There really wasn't a good tutorial in the beta. I said, the real game will be better when it teaches you how to play, and we're all going to be a lot better at it. But then it wasn't. We really didn't get the gameplay that I expected from this game. Part of what I really wanted, what I had in my head of what this game would be like, would be Gears of War, you're playing Horde, you're on wave 50 on Insane, and they send you a Brumac. That's what I wanted this to feel like, an insanely difficult monster that your team of friends are playing against. And the problem was the monster. Having a real human player behind that, their ability was the difficulty of the game. If they were really bad as the monster, if they just run and hide the whole game, or if they're really good as the monster and you have a fantastic game, then the next kid in line for it is awful. It just sours the whole experience. So it really just wasn't the game that I wanted. I think if that game had an AI monster that was set to an insane difficulty, then I would be in love with this game and still playing it. But what I played of it just didn't captivate me, and I put that game on the shelf pretty soon after I got it. The next game on my list is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. These games were incredible when I was a kid. I had so much fun playing them at my friends' houses, and they were just good games. This one was just broken. There was no excuse for it at all. All the problems that this game had, it should have been delayed for another year. You know, it really just didn't have the polish that a Tony Hawk game should, or that any game should, for $60. It was utterly broken and just not playable. So I really was disappointed in this game. I am still hoping that they'll fix it and that there can be some more patches to come out to fix this game. But for now, I'm not playing it. The next game on my list was Battlefield Hardline. I really was excited for this game. I thought, it's Battlefield, but it's cops and robbers. This will be incredible. The problem for me was the story. The multiplayer was solid, good experience, really nothing wrong with that. The story, though, it was like watching the cheesiest cop drama in the world. All the jokes, everything about it, it was like hanging out with your weird uncle. I didn't like it. They're telling dad jokes and I, I hated it. I couldn't stand the story. I didn't finish the story. And not because I didn't like the gameplay, but I just couldn't stand it. I thought if I have to play the campaign on mute, just because I can't stand these characters, then why am I playing at all? I'll just get on the multiplayer and have fun with that. So that game really was just lackluster to me because the campaign was ruined by just the cheese factor of it. So the last game on my list, like I said, it's a short list, was Just Cause 3. This game is just utterly broken. And I don't know if there's a patch in the world big enough to fix it. And I was really excited for it. These games are over the top. They're funny. They're action-y. The story is stupid, but you like it. I was so excited for this game, and it just fell apart as soon as I tried to play it. I rented it from Gamefly, I sent it back the same day, I'm hoping they'll fix it, but I really don't know if it'll ever be the finished game that we want because it's just so broken. So those were my biggest gaming disappointments of 2015. Let me know in the comments below what yours were, what games were you really excited for but absolutely fell apart, or what games did you kind of see it coming that this was not going to be the best experience in the world. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!